Hello and welcome back to another Activations video. We're starting off with a brand new series today and our focus will be on the seven spheres of influence. This might be a new topic for you, so if you haven't heard about the seven mountains or the seven spheres of influence, they would include the influences in our lives that impacts all of us, regardless of which industry you are currently in. And the list of those mountains are business, government, religion, education, economy, family, and a celebration of the arts. For today, we're going to focus on business specifically, and every week we're going to prophesy into one of the spheres of influence. Remember that the prophetic is there not just to bless the believers in the church, but for us to prophesy and to bring life into every sphere of industry, which is why the seven mountains are so apt for the season of COVID-19. Many people are struggling with either depression, anxiety, loss of finance, loss of work, or whatever the situation may be. And so us as prophetic people can make a difference in this time. So if you were attending module two, these activations would probably be done during our module two uh, at the Academy of Prophecy. But I want to inspire you to go higher. If you are starting new with us with the activations video, please start with the first season of activations as this is a season of a wave of wonder we read in deuteronomy 8 verse 18 that it says and you shall remember the lord your god for it is he who gives you power to get wealth that he may establish or confirm his covenant which he saw over your fathers now the lord gives us the ability to generate wealth and so before we start with our activation i'd like to encourage especially the entrepreneurs who are listening today that i sense that some of you have already got a plan a strategy on a new business that you would like to start you just do not have the courage and you're waiting for a word of the Lord on when to start and how to implement it. And today I want to prophesy over that particular person that you have been called for this season and that the Lord has anointed your heart and your lips to speak life into the area where he has called you in. He's already given you the strategy and the network capacity to start your business. And so stop being lazy and don't step back, but rather run forward, run towards the Lord because he has called you for that particular industry. I also sense a young lady to Day who has woken up this morning and asked the Lord, Lord, what am I supposed to do? I'm so stuck in a rut in what I'm doing. And I want to encourage you specifically that you think that you might not be good enough or that you don't have anything to share, but that you are called for this season to start your business, that the world needs to hear your voice and what you have in your heart to share. So start today, baby steps. Do not be overwhelmed, but start with the strategies and the desires that the Lord have already given to you. And don't look back at the things that did not succeed in the past season, because currently during the COVID time, this is the season for entrepreneurship. This is the time to be innovative and you can do this. So if you are discouraged in this season, take up that banner, take up that mantle that the Lord has given to you as prophetic people, we can change the spiritual atmosphere in the mountain of business. I also have a word for a businessman who is involved in either waterworks or water industry. It's something got to do with water at this point in time. And you're waiting for a contract. You have been uh, bidding for, I think it's I think it's in government, and you've been waiting for that contract. And you've even given up on, on the possibility of, of pulling it off. And you're concerned about finances and you're concerned about whether your staff could actually handle the capacity. And I want to speak life into that area that do not give be discouraged, do not give up, that you will get that contract and that the Lord will just work everything out smoothly. Everything will fall into place. Your staff capacity will increase in this time. You are currently concerned that some of your staff are ill and that's why you're worried about your labor force. And so the Lord will send extra people, new people in who are already qualified and who know what they are doing. So may you be blessed. Let me know if that applies to you. I'd love to get some feedback on the accuracy of some of these words. Let's start off with an active uh, application to the business mountain. For our practical today, I would like to encourage you to prophesy into the mountain of business.
Now we do have to guard our hearts because if you're currently in a work situation, whether it's in corporate, whether you have a small business, whether you're part of a large industry, you might have some anger or unforgiveness or bitterness in your heart. So before you prophesy into that sphere of influence, we first have to get our heart ready. And that would entail that we would need to come before the Lord and ask for forgiveness for anybody who we are still angry with or any bitterness that we still harbor in our heart. If we don't do that, we will prophesy that negative thought and that will not speak life. It will have an opposite effect. So before you start prophesying, come before the Lord. Repent of any unforgiveness, any bitterness, any anger, any resentment towards your boss. Forgive them, ask the Lord to forgive you, and from there on, ask him to fill you with love for business. Start to prophesy in the industry that you are currently in because you already have authority. I am. Uh, I have a small business. I work from home. It's all online. I currently specifically work in, in the education platforms. So we were not as, as affected by COVID as some of the other industries were. But I can speak life in, and see potential. And the Lord has given me divine revelation on what can work even better during this COVID time. So whatever position you are in at the moment, speak life. Speak life, write it down. You can email me. You can submit it to your leaders or your pastors. If, it's, if there are any prayer pointers for you, you can do intercession on those areas. But for this week, focus on the sphere of business. Remember that scripture tells us that you have the ability to generate wealth. Do not be discouraged by some of the businesses that do not have the capacity to generate wealth in this time. This will give you a space to be innovative and creative and expand into other areas. May the Lord give you visions and dreams of new opportunities where you can generate wealth. And those entrepreneurs out there, do not be discouraged. This is your moment. So before I finish off, let me pray for you for an accurate word and let me release you so you can start prophesying into the mountain of business. Let us pray. Abba Father, we come before you into your throne room of grace and Lord, I ask that you anoint our hearts for business in this week. Lord, regardless of our background and our education, or regardless of what we see in the natural, Lord, we live in this world, but we are not of this world. Give us accurate prophetic words for business, whether it's small business or corporate for entrepreneurs. Give us new innovations, Lord. Give us that life-breathing air that we can just prophesy into the sphere of business. Give us courage and boldness. Lord, I just sense some people are roaring like lions in the mountain of business. And there are prophets who have not stood up yet and taken up that mantle where they are called in that specific sphere. So Father, bless us as we speak life, Lord. We love you and we honor you. We praise and we worship you as the great I am. Lord, use us as your disciples in Christ. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have an incredible week and start prophesying over business. Be blessed.